Hi there, I'm Mickey McMonagall. Here we are backstage again at Rocknest 2013. And I am with one of the highlights of the main stage this weekend, the incredible DJ Yoda. Thank you, sir. Very kind words. How are you? <laughs> really good, man. Yeah, I've just come off stage. That was pretty special. It was amazing. You know, it was like, it was one of those ones where when I started, kind of there'd been a gap between the last yeah. act, so there wasn't too many people around. And slowly but surely throughout the set, everyone kind of gathered and gathered until the end, it was just huge. Did you have a slight panic when you went on and thought, no, there's no one here? I felt, I was confident, <laughs> yeah. quietly confident. Like I said off camera, that Star Wars theme, once that kicks in, people know who's on, <laughs> don't a, they? It's a good intro, it works. <laughs> so what are your plans for the rest of the day? Are you hanging around? I'm gonna hang out and chill, yeah. I really yeah. wanna see um, Scream and Benga play, I wanna see Example play, so I'm chilling, yeah, yeah for sure. Cool. What do you think of the festival so far? You know what, I was saying to someone before, just in terms of location mm. for a festival, it's, it's way up there, it's one of the best. Yeah. It's just, I'm just driving into there, like, especially when the weather's like this, it was just, oh my God, this, this, you can't beat the scenery. I should advise you, it's not always like this. I know. Like, don't, I, if you're coming no. back, don't expect it to necessarily <laughs> well, be what, like a beta that's again. That's what made it extra special, you know, I've played Rockness loads of times now, yeah. and I've been here when the weather's been the opposite to yeah, this. Yeah. It's but still I, great, you know, but this it does is, make but it, this, doesn't it, it? Yeah, you're right, it makes it. Now, you've got a new mix CD coming up shortly, I believe, another cut and paste? Yeah, I do, uh, a new cut and paste mix. I, I tend to theme them by kind of category. Yeah. So in the past, I've done ones with 80s pop. The 80s one is yeah. hard to see past. <laughs> I did a country and western one. I did a 30s one. And this one that's about to come out is the Asian edition. Yep. So it's all kind of uh, music that either samples Asian music uh -huh. or has got an Asian theme to it. Um, so I really kind of spent a lot of time preparing for it, getting music together, and I'm really happy with the, with the end result. Where do you get the ideas for the next genre is it like sit around your mates and drink and think what oh, wacky I right kind there. of like I go through fads of music that I listen to so sometimes like you know I spend a year listening to jazz and digging out all old jazz records and uh -huh. the next year I'm getting into reggae and yeah actually when I was making my album that came out recently it's called Chop Suey yeah. and there's lots of kind of there's one song about Chinatown on it and there's kind of quite a lot of Asian stuff and I found myself digging through all this Asian music and I thought, oh, this is too good to like, I need to collect the best stuff here and make a mix out of it. Cool, well, we're gonna have to get that definitely. Thank you for talking to us. My pleasure, enjoy man. the rest of yeah. the festival. Yeah, nice one, thank you. That's it for me for right now. We'll be back here more later on with interviews, gossip, and all the best of the fest.